RIPTA SAYS IT'S AT LEAST 30 BUS DRIVERS SHORT AND STRUGGLING TO RECRUIT NEW DRIVERS. IN A FEW WEEKS, THE AGENCY SAYS IT WILL BE REDUCING SERVICE ON 19 OUT OF 65 BUS ROUTES AS A RESULT. 12 NEWS REPORTER ALEXANDRA LESLIE HEARD FROM RIPTA AND MEMBERS OF THE LOCAL DRIVERS UNION AND ALEX, CANDIDATES FOR GOVERNOR, ALSO WEIGHING IN ON ALL OF THIS. Yes, Shannon, 12 News asked Governor Dan McKee about the staffing shortages yesterday, and today his Republican opponent, Ashley Kalis, also weighed in after making an unannounced appearance at today's news conference. RIPTA CEO Scott Avedesian says an unprecedented labor shortage is forcing the agency to reduce service beginning October 22nd. We will be making changes to 19 of our 65 routes. So, um, the vast majority of our routes will not change at all. Union members told me off camera they wanted the governor to step in and try and get this resolved. When asked about the staffing shortages Thursday, Governor McKee said he would refer that to RIPTA CEO. I would hope that there's going to be a plan to fill those positions to keep the, um, you know, the routes going, including the, uh, uh, the transportation for the students um, in the Providence schools. His Republican opponent, Ashley Kalis, told reporters today she felt riders should have known about the impacts prior going into the school year. In the last few weeks, delays have impacted students who rely on city buses. Communicating what the issue is before you have uh, something like this coming, because if you can pay a fair wage and use uh, money wisely uh, to pay drivers and to plan for it, if, as you saw, there's a timeline for bringing drivers on. So now we are going to push out that timeline for different routes. Union members and RIPTA are currently in contract negotiations, so both sides couldn't talk specifics on what was being asked and might be offered. Currently, we're told drivers are offered $16.45 an hour to start. Now, even if all the drivers needed to resume, resume full service were hired at the next job fair on October 12th, RIPTA says it will still take time to train them. The agency offers free CDL training, but says that can take anywhere from four to six weeks to complete. Live in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.